Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 10th, 2019. So my goodness, are we set up for an emotionally charged day um, in the market. As you know, trade negotiations are resuming with China today, and we've already had really wild price action as a result. Right now, uh, Dow futures are uh, down about 67 points as I start this, and we have fluctuated all over the place this morning, but that is nothing compared to what happened last night. I'm going to show you a quick chart of the futures last night, where we dove um, over 200 points down, and you can see rallying back up and whipping all over the place as we had into the morning very emotionally charged as you can see and very sensitive to any news reports about trade negotiations so as we head into our day my goodness what um, where we go from here is really hard to say because we're going to be extremely sensitive to anything that comes out about trade. Right now, we've heard in reports that the China negotiation team is planning on um, leaving early. Uh, if reports are correct, that is. And uh, the discussion is um, they have, will be completing all of their um, efforts today. They, they're they putting nothing major on the table. Uh, China would like to have some kind of a partial deal. Um, whether or not uh, this administration is willing to do any kind of a partial deal um, honestly would be a surprise to me. But anything is possible. And so we're just going to have to watch very, very closely um, these news reports and just expect that the market is going to be very sensitive and react very violently, possibly, to those reports. So I think it's going to be very important for traders today to be very focused on that price action. Consider the risk carefully that they are taking in a, such an emotionally charged event. And then also... Um, don't commit yourself or overcommit yourself to anything directionally. Make sure you remain very, very flexible and can move in and out of that market because it could be a wild couple of days as this progresses. Just keep in mind, if no deal is done, we have um, uh, tariffs increasing on China to 30% on the 15th. Uh, so next week they would go up to 30% in, unless there is a an administration change or change of heart or something on that. So keep that in mind. It could, be, it could be pretty rough over the next couple of days if those negotiations don't go well. So watch that close. So right now, what do we have technically in the charts that we want to consider? Well, first off, I want to point out that we have pushed right back up underneath that 50-day moving average that we're dealing with you know, some significant, substantial price resistance in the chart. But that uh, price resistance could easily be sliced right through on news of a trade deal or something like that. We still have a downtrend that will challenge us if we rally up beyond that 50-day. And I also want to point out that our 50-day moving average is now in decline. Not a good sign for us. And if we were to fail right in here, um, we could see some ugly, ugly price action occur if that were the case. So let's keep a close eye on that. If we happen to get some kind of uh, good news out of the trade deal, we could certainly move up into here pretty quickly. But um, be prepared for that possibility of that steep move lower here in the market. Now, we do have this current uptrend holding right now around that 200-day moving average. So if we did get that reversal failure, let's hope we can stop right in here. But I got to tell you, on a, a bad uh, situation in trade, we could easily slip down below that and lose that 200-day moving average. So hold on. It could be wild and woolly over the next couple of days. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Very similar circumstance where we have a substantial price resistance level in here that we're dealing with. We continue to get these 
the lower highs, shooting star top kind of patterns, and our 50-day moving average in decline. So we're underneath that price pattern. We need some kind of good news to move us up. We also have a downtrend in play, and we need some of these things to resolve. Um, we'll have to watch that pretty closely as the, the, we get head toward the weekend here. Let's take a look at the cues. Q's came a little bit closer yesterday, trying to pop through that 50-day moving average, but was unable to hold it by the end of the day. And once again, all of these wiki tops, all of these shooting star type topping patterns uh, don't provide a whole lot of confidence um, overall in the market. And if we were to fail right in here, could be pretty darn damaging technically to the chart. A failure down into here would be pretty ugly. However, if we get those bulls to move up in here and start picking this up and breaking through, um, break through that downtrend, hold it as support, then there may be some upside potential. But I would assume that's going to require some kind of a good trade deal uh, news. Um, to make that happen so just be really careful and really flexible today um, IWM now this is just so sick it's it's hard to say anything good about um, the small caps small caps have been in this long-term downtrend um, and not looking good and you can see on the shorter term um, we are also downtrending we have failed uh, back through the 50 and 200 day moving average. Notice that the 50 day moving average has failed down through the 200. They call that um, the death cross. Um, obviously, kind of a dramatic name, but um, trade deal, um, a good positive trade deal could certainly um, turn this market right back, right back around. But we want to stay focused right in here. This is a big level of price support in IWM. And if this were to fail, um, you can see there's a lot of space down here where we could fall before we find that next level of support. So watch that closely. If we were to fail and drop down below here, could be a critical, um, critical uh, problem here for IWM. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now that VIX back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, seesawing in here. We, uh, I've I've talked a lot about um, the support and resistance and and things in this chart. And if we take a look at this, we have um, this downtrend here that we ended up holding as support. And we have moved up, we've held support in this price um, support area of the chart. And we are fluctuating back and forth on these emotional moves. Now had the market open like it was showing early last night, we could be way up here on fear. Now that's not the case at this point, but I would point out that we've kind of broken through uh, that little downtrend there and we have tried to hold that as support right in here and holding in this area. So if fear starts to creep in, don't be too surprised if we see that fear really start to spike up. Um, we need some kind of a trade deal, some kind of assurance that things are getting better here to maybe get that to pull back below that level. So let's watch that close. If we take a look at T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio, the good news in this T2122 is that we're still down here in this bullish reversal zone. We're down here toward the bottom. That rally yesterday really didn't move T2122 all that much out here. So what that tells us is we have um, a, a rather large open space up here for a potential rally if we can get some kind of good news. If the news, uh, of course, is bad, then um, there's not so much room to the downside. But keep in mind, we can stay down here for a while. So we can certainly extend uh, to the downside and get overextended to the downside on any emotional move of the market. And that would have occurred had those futures um, uh, maintained that early move lower. We'd have been way down here um, on T2122. So keep that in mind that it's pretty emotionally charged. Anything is possible. We're going to have to remain very flexible um, in this market. Let's take a look at the um, 
economic report. Um, our economic calendar has uh, just a few things that could move us around this morning. We have the CPI number uh, scheduled here uh, at 8.30 this morning. Obviously, that's a pretty important number. Um, any surprise news in that could certainly move the market, so let's keep an eye on that at 8.30. Jobless claims, obviously a big number for the day. We'll have to watch that close. Um, with uh, market fluctuations and things starting to happen, we might start seeing a little bit of damage starting to occur here in the jobless claim. So let's keep an eye on that. That could move us around. I wouldn't expect the natural gas report to move us at all. And then keep in mind, we have uh, that parade of Fed speakers still going on um, here. Our treasury budget and uh, Fed balance sheet unlikely to move the market um, overall. So keep those things in mind. We still have a busy day on the economic calendar. On the earnings calendar, we have about 25 companies um, uh, re reporting earnings today, but honestly, not many of them uh, would be um, would be particularly notable um, or expected to really move the market around. Um, one of the most notable today might be Delta Airlines Delta reporting before the bell, and you can see it is gapping substantially lower uh, this morning. Uh, by the way, here in TC2000, this tells me that that current bid ask that little red arrow right there tells me the current bid ask of the market if you haven't seen that so we're gapping uh, it's indicating that it will open somewhere down in here so pretty substantial gap down and a miss uh, apparently by delta airlines let's take a look um, at some charts that could be setting up but before i do that if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me button there um, on Facebook if you happen to watch it on Facebook. Make sure you click that bell icon also there on, on YouTube when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Kind of keep in mind, guys, that the purpose of these videos is not to provide... Um, predictions or hype or anything about what's going on in the market. I'm not trying to do that at all. I'm trying to um, uh, echo the things that I believe are important in how you might want to think about your approach for the day, how we might want to move into this market or how we want to approach it for the day, and really studying those technicals and those indicators that could uh, provide us a little insight. We're just not, um, I, I don't believe in market prediction. Um, I believe um, those who claim they can predict the market are are um, just fooling themselves because there's just too many factors out there affecting the market to be able to predict. So what we need to learn to do is follow the market. And the market gives us clues if we watch that price action carefully. And that's what I attempt to do in these videos. So if you find these useful, please make sure and and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. It helps algorithm show these videos to more folks. And thank you to everyone who does that. You guys are just truly awesome. I, I really, really appreciate it. Your kindness um, uh, is honestly overwhelming to me and sometimes very humbling. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at some stocks that might be setting up. And I gotta tell you, uh, a little bit surprised yesterday and where I was finding some strength. Now, uh, of course, um, there's been some substantial strength showing up in um, utilities. Utilities have had some companies um, in, oh, excuse me, um, had some companies in there um, really producing uh, nicely and moving up uh, strongly. So maybe look for some of those utility companies if you're looking for more of a safety play. Quite a few of those companies are looking uh, very, very good, showing a lot of strength um, overall and some good dividend yields. And that's what I think might be happening is as we get fearful here in the market, more and more folks are running uh, toward those safety plays like uh, those high dividend yields yielding stocks and um, utilities, those kind of things. So we want to watch those pretty darn closely here um, um, in the market. Another place is real estate. My goodness. Um, um, whoops. 
typed symbol wrong. Um, real estate has been really, really strong, um, and real estate and builders have been really strong. So TOL has been holding up quite well, but it's really the real estate investment trusts that have been doing really strong and holding up really well. And once again, I think that is a, a run to the dividend. This is an annualized dividend yield for KIM. And those real estate trusts are providing some pretty nice dividend yields. And um, I think there is a bit of a run to safety here on that. So let's keep an eye on that. You might also look at like TLT. TLT um, had a substantial sell-off, but notice right now we're holding into a trend on uh, the 20 year treasury. Again, that little bit of run to safety uh, might be going on here. If this were to pop back up, let's keep an eye on that closely. If that pops back up and maintains this um, current trend, uh, those treasury bonds might be a place to seek a little bit of that safety. Um, I've been seeing um, moves in um, some defensive sector areas like a consumer defensive sector here as you can see LW moving up in a beautiful trend moving up this is packaged foods moving up and that defensive sector seeing some signs of strength as this uncertainty in the market continues to to roll out so let's watch that closely and then surprisingly yesterday there seemed to be a substantial effort to move some retail stocks so let's take a look like um, Walmart moving up, trying to break out. Walmart's been in an incredible uptrend this year, um, moving strongly. And yesterday had a nice day trying to move up. I saw moves in uh, like Dollar General, something to be watching here for a potential trade. Uh, Dollar General moving up in a trade uh, and sliding over here toward um, its trend. We, we would want to be watching for any entry signal um, to move up um, in that chart. Saw it moves in um, Dollar uh, Dollar Tree, not Dollar General, Dollar Tree um, yesterday. Um, tried to move up and ended up pulling back by the end of the day. And we've been struggling around this major breakout resistance point, but still should be on the list maybe to, to watch if we can catch a little bit of market bullishness to maybe uh, push that on higher. Um, I've mentioned this chart in Home several times, and Home is one of those nice little trending patterns, and we're trying, we're holding this resistance right in here we're trying to break through into this open gap I would keep an eye on a home it's as long as it continues to hold in here if that pops on through there may be some upside potential in here filling this gap um, nice percentage move on a stock that size so we'll watch that uh, pretty closely saw some good moves yesterday in um, some of the technology sector um, with Apple picking up yesterday and looking pretty good stronger yesterday um, holding in there nicely and even saw a nice move um, Microsoft recovering a bit yesterday so some of the tech um, tech sectors trying to lift back up whether they can hold that if uh, trade negotiations fail I, I couldn't tell you but it'd be something to uh, keep an eye on one other defensive sector stock you might want to keep an eye on is camel soup camel moving up in this trend now this this trend line I don't know exactly where this is going to come out I've just got that marked here right now it could it could be over here someplace but what I'm seeing in camels is this possibility of this higher low being right in here nice little bullish candle yesterday so if that can push on up uh, those defensive sectors where folks can get those dividend yields um, might be a place where um, traders are camping out to protect themselves against the volatility of this potential market so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day and i want to wish you great success in your trading and if um, you can do me a favor and click that subscribe button or click those thumbs up buttons and leave comments, I'd really appreciate it. And I want to echo this again today. I know a lot of folks are, are really struggling right now in their trading. And believe me, you are not alone. Even, even long-term, very experienced traders are struggling in this market because of the massive whip. They don't have any better insight than you do. They may have more skills and, and more experience 
experience to be able to pull some money out of the market, um, even in very volatile times like this. But just keep in mind, um, everyone is being challenged right now. So if you're experiencing that uh, that feeling that, oh my gosh, it's just every day is just a battle with the market, I want, I want to remind you that you don't have to trade every day. Um, there's no rule book that says a trader, if you decide to be a trader and you turn on your computer, that you must pull the trigger on a trade today and risk your capital. Today might be one of those days with the, the news reports that as they come out, we could see some really violent moves in the market. If if last night was any indication of what could occur, if trade negotiations fail, um, we could have a tough couple of days ahead of us um, if that were the case. So watch that closely and, and just, just make that decision that, hey, I'm going to protect my capital and wait for better price action before I get uh, re-engaged in the market. It's okay to practice paper trade. You know, stay busy doing those things. Stay busy studying. Stay busy studying your your charting, your your um, uh, candle patterns, your chart patterns. Stay busy studying your brokerage platform, making sure you know how to use all the orders features and things like that. That's a good time to just increase your amount of study on the, those things and avoid the risk of the market and then come back when the market starts to improve and be much better prepared uh, to kick off and run. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Um, I know I don't trade every day, and I'm not sure I will um, initiate a single trade today because of this volatility. So kind of keep that in mind. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I wish you all the best, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning.